Hi, okay, so in this video I'm going to go over how to find the equation of a surface of revolution in three dimensions. Um, so in this example, I hope you, I hope you can see well. Um, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you might notice that in the lower right hand corner you can sometimes adjust the quality of the video. And if you set it to HD, you might be able to see some of the small print better. Um, but in this video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to look at this curve that's described by z equals x squared. So this is a curve in the xz plane. And if we rotate this around the, the z axis in three dimensions, then we get a, a, a three-dimensional surface of revolution. So you can see a picture of it here. And um, let me zoom in a little bit. And so this red line... Uh, that I hope you can see is the curve that we were looking at a second ago. So you can see that this is the x-axis, and these values on the x-axis are just being squared and sent up um, to a height, and uh, then this is being rotated around the z-axis. You can see it makes this paraboloid shape. Um, so uh, just to look at the, the sage commands that's making that picture, if you care, um, I'll put that into view. and. Um, so you can pause the video and and uh, ponder that if you are interested in, in the Sage code. But um, here, this next picture is about the basic strategy for recovering the equation. So let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, so now instead of just considering a point on the x-axis, we're going to be considering kind of a generic vector in the plane and we're going to try to write z as a function of x and y. And um, so that you should be able to do that. For every point in the plane, you send it up a certain height, and then you get a point on the surface. So z, um, z as a function of x and y is able to describe this paraboloid, and we just need to find out what the equation is. Um, and the, the, the insight that makes it possible is that if you have some vector coming up from the origin in the xy plane, then to get it up to the surface, you just need to do exactly the same thing to it that you would do if it were on the x-axis, which is to square its magnitude. So maybe um, it will be helpful to look at the Sage code here to see what's going on. So this vector a is just this generic, uh, generic vector in the xy plane. And how do I make this arrow that shoots it up to the surface well, it's just um, you start at a, and then you. This is just zero, zero, one is k, just the z direction, and make its magnitude the norm of a squared. So you know the norm just means the length. So take the vector and send it up uh, the square of its magnitude, and you get a point on the surface. Okay. All right, and then it says it. I guess a little more nicely typeset here. So the vector a plus b, where a is in the xy plane, and b is k times the norm of a squared gives a point on the surface. Um, and to translate things back to x and y, this means that the surface is described by this equation, z equals the norm of generic, x, generic point xy squared. Um, and so that is just x squared plus y squared by the Euclidean distance formula. And so just to prove that this is right, now we do an implicit plot of the equation z equals x squared plus y squared, and you can see that it looks pretty similar to what we had before. Um, if it looks a little different, that's because of the aspect ratio, but this is the same, this is the same shape as before. And that's it. It's not, not too hard. Let me see if I can turn this thing off now. 